Today, we are talking the family budget and why budgeting for self-care and fun is so important and why you should be doing it too. I'm even going to talk about the splurges in our budget or what we consider to be splurges. And if you followed us for a hot second, you know we have splurges, a lot of them, but not really. Or a lot of people think we have a lot of them. We are all about maintaining the happy, positive outlook that we always have here in the Valencia household to get through this debt-free journey. Okay, Mauricio will probably tell you I don't always have a positive, happy outlook, but I do on the inside, deep, deep, deep down. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Amy over at Go With Less invited me to participate in this collab and I am super excited to talk about all of the things we splurge on and why fun and self-care are so important to have in your budget while you're going through a debt-free process. So if you want to check out Amy's channel and all the other participants down in the description box, I'll link them down below. Go click, tell them I said hey, and tell them I sent ya. So here's my take in fun and self-care while you're going through the debt-free process. It is 100% okay as long as it's a reasonable amount and as long as it's budgeted every time. I am totally okay with having these things in the budget if you plan for them, especially if your journey is a long one because you know what? It's okay not to color your hair for like six months if you're one of those people that need your hair colored or getting your nails done or whatever your little thing is for six months, nine months, even a year. But when your debt-free process is three years, four years, five years, taking absolutely everything out of the budget is too long, too hard. So as long as you're planning for them and they aren't sucking a huge amount of money away from your debt payoff, there is nothing wrong with doing it. And if you're one of those people that likes to do spontaneous fun, I am totally cool with like a fun budget line item that just says fun and a hundred dollars or $50. And it's just there. So when you decide to do something spontaneous, you just go do it. And you don't have to worry about where the money's coming from. Again, it's totally okay as long as they're in your budget and you're planning for them because a budget is meant to free you. It is meant to help you achieve your goals. So set your priorities. Now, if getting your hair done or your nails done or having an Audible subscription is not a priority for you, by all means, take it out. But if that is something that matters to you, it's okay to keep it in. I mean, in our household, we always have $200 of what we call blow money, which is money that Mauricio gets 100 and I get 100, and we can do anything we want with it during the month. And then we also have $100 of family fun money. And I don't consider blow money or family fun money actually splurges. I consider them necessities because we're gonna spend the money, so we might as well plan for it. But our splurges are splurges. So let me go ahead and talk about some of those. Christmas. Christmas is a splurge and Christmas is a splurge that freaks a lot of y'all out because our Christmas budget is high and we know it's high, but we like it that way and we want it that way. That's, that's who makes us who we are. So we plan for it. We plan for a whole year for Christmas. We are putting away $300 every month so we can have our amazing Christmas like we do every year. And we're excited about it. And Christmas just is one of those things that we are always going to splurge on. We like to give big gifts and we like the ability to give big gifts. And the years that we restricted ourselves, it was not good for Mauricio and I in morale, I, I guess is the only way to say it. It just, it didn't do great things for us. So we have decided to keep that in. And if you want to see our Christmas budget, I did a whole video where I go over line by line every little thing we have in our Christmas budget. And I will link that down in the description box and up in the eye in the sky. And you can check that out. Another splurge that I personally have in the budget is Audible. Yes, I know I can rent books from the library and I have rented books from the library and I do rent books from the library. However, 
I am a participant in a book club and we always read like current books that have just come out and it is too hard for me to get those books out of the library in time for book club. And so I, every single time, have bought the book on Audible. So I just went ahead and got an Audible subscription for that. Another splurge I have is good makeup. I tried at the beginning of this whole debt-free process to use drugstore makeup. It isn't good. Someday, I swear, I'm going to do a comparison video of like drugstore makeup to regular makeup and I'll do like a half a face so y'all can see the difference, especially over time because in 15 minutes, drugstore makeup is gone. I have had no luck and I've tried several brands. So I just went back to my regular makeup that I love that lasts for hours and I'm good with it. Another big splurge we have in our budget is Home Chef. So I pay like $119 a week for Home Chef to have meals delivered to my house for the family of five. And we love it. It has made our lives so much easier. My dad can actually cook the meals because they're so easy to follow. Or I can come home and cook them. Melina's helped me even cooking them. They're just really easy to follow and they're good. So that is a huge splurge for us and I absolutely love it. I, as soon as we are back to our normal budget, Home Chef will be coming back because it just takes all of the stress out of meal prepping. It just makes my life so much easier and it is so worth it to me. Another splurge we have in our budget is Spanish classes for our daughter. Now, you guys, I, I know a lot of you think this is an over-the-top splurge. I actually consider this almost a necessity because, again, as I've explained a million times, Melina refused to speak Spanish from ages four to six. No matter what we did, she refused to speak to us. We have finally found a teacher that she will work with and will speak Spanish, and she's speaking in full sentences, and we are never going back because Melina has to legitimately be able to speak to her grandparents. They're Colombian. They don't speak English, and I don't expect them to learn to speak English. I'm a fluent Spanish speaker. Mauricio is a fluent Spanish speaker. We do try and speak Spanish to Melina. She's getting better about responding, and she's getting more and more proud of speaking Spanish. But it's it's taken a long time to get her there. So this Spanish teacher, although very expensive, is worth every cent to us. And if you saw our budget recap from January, Mauricio's fantasy football is an annual luxury. I don't begrudge him that. He doesn't really spend that much on himself most of the time, sometimes, but not most of the time. So he loves fantasy football. And even though he sucks mammothly at it, yes, Mauricio, I know you're watching and you suck at fantasy football. <laughs> you lose every year. It's okay. I'm okay with paying it. And then probably what I would consider the biggest actual splurge is every once in a while I go out to dinner with my girlfriends and it is so rare, like every like four or five months I'll do this, but I really enjoy going. It's a lot of fun. So we do have some splurges in the budget, but to me they are totally worth it. And if you add up the percentages of our splurges, it's like less than 1%, maybe 2% of our annual budget. So I'm totally cool with it. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.